In my last video I showed you what I had to do to my walls before I can start painting. I also told you of another issue that I had that cost me a lot of time and a lot of work. Now if you stay till the end of the video, there's a problem I have that I want to see if you can pick up. When you get to the end, let me know what you think the problem is. If you watched my last video, you probably noticed that I removed all of the trim. I removed all the base, all the window casing, door casing. If you're just going to patch and paint, you shouldn't have to do this. But if you look at some of the footage here, you'll notice the caulk is very shiny. And what the previous homeowner did, or had somebody do, was caulk everything with silicone caulk. Silicone caulk is not paintable. If you paint silicone caulk, after it dries, it'll just flake right off. And they used the method of putting it on thick and wiping it off with their finger in a rag. They even filled some of the holes with the silicone caulk. And because I would never be able to remove all the caulk, I had to get rid of all the trim and start over. Now the one thing I didn't have to get rid of were the door jams. The door jams had a vinyl-like wrap over particle board. Now the wrap is paintable, but lucky for me, the silicone didn't stick to the wrap. So after taking off all the casing, I had to scrape off all the silicone caulk on every door jam in the house. So the first thing I had to do was remove all the trim. First thing I had to do was cut all the caulk, otherwise it would rip the paper off the drywall. If you do rip the drywall paper, you won't be able to patch it without sealing it. I did make a video on how to do that, and I'll leave a link for it in the description. The next thing I had to do was remove all the nails from the door and window jams. All the nails in the drywall from the trim, I'll just tap those in with a hammer. The next thing I have to do is remove as much of the silicone as I can. Now I tried using a putty knife or a scraper and it wasn't working as well, so I used a razor blade. Now I'll just try and get as much off the walls as I can without doing too much damage to the walls. Doesn't that look like fun? At this point, I thought I was going to be here forever. After I did this room, it wasn't very difficult at all because I gave this job to my oldest son. Laying the blade down and trying to cut it off wasn't working very well, so I just stood the blade up and started scraping, and it seemed to be doing a pretty good job. So the razor blade was taking a little time, so I went back to the 6-in-1 tool, sharpened it, then gave it another try. And you can see that's not working too well either. Either way, it was still a lot of work and time consuming. After I had it all removed, I lightly sanded the areas where the silicone was, and then patched. Now I wasn't sure what kind of base I was going to use, and so I'd have options. I just went ahead and patched all this just to make sure nothing showed through. I was already taping everything else, so this extra work here doesn't really matter. I'd rather do it all now while I have everything out, instead of doing it again later. And of course, patched everything else while I was down here. Not sure what the homeowner was trying to do. I had heard uh, from one of the neighbors that he hired somebody to paint and do all the trim work for him. Uh, hopefully he didn't pay too much for it. Now I'll be honest with you, there was a lot of sanding. But because of the taping compound I used, sanding was fairly easy. If you take the extra steps, you'll be very happy with the way it turns out. Now I'll prime all the walls. After I'm done priming, I'll check the walls again and see if there's anything I missed. If there isn't, then I can move on to painting. After I removed all the base and all the casing, I exposed yet another problem. And this problem was on every door in the house. And you can see the problem through the footage I just showed you. If you can see the problem, leave a comment in the comment section below. I'd like to see if anybody can pick it out. I had my suspicions before I even removed the first piece of casing. After I removed the first piece, I was right. I'll show you what I had to do to fix that problem in my next video. Until next time, thanks for watching.